Well, guys, we're in for a special treat. We are here with Dimondo, uh, and he will take us through some of his special pieces. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, now, let's, let's first talk about this gorgeous piece. Well, this is the last piece that I did, and uh, the headpiece itself, uh, it's Balinese, and I bought it at Dover's Market. So my idea was to, I uh, had these painted black, mm -hmm. and then all that you see, pearls and black, and the flowers and the crystals, were all ornaments that um, we added um, with uh, some of uh, Eric's people, trimming people at his uh, design studio. This mask is really a mask on a mask, which was my inspiration because I um, thought that the Venetians in those days, when they wore these masks, there was something very mysterious and romantic and because of the society that they were in, it was very um, sexually repressed. So I wanted to do um, the opposite, which represents the days that we live in, which is this part, the side and the back, uh, represents an S&M uh, mask. And the wings, the middle and the wings, represent the balance in those two. Um, wow, what so a... They always have a meaning. This one, uh, uh, the ball was on a Friday. I started on a Wednesday. It didn't took me too long. And uh, there's approximately uh, 2,500 crystals. The next one was this little experiment here, mm -hmm. which I had recently um, turned 30 years old. And my uh, birthday cake was this large world mm -hmm. which spinned. So that's kind of where the idea of, of and the inspiration came that uh, I wanted a globe. Okay. So, as you can see, um, this is a this is a mask, and then this headpiece comes over it, and inside there's LED lights, and this one has almost six thousand crystals. This was a, a lot more work. I had two people um, help me do this one. I added a GoPro here, which is not here at the moment. Mm -hmm. And um, this one actually was much more comfortable than the first one. I had a lot of space inside, I could breathe easy. And um, it was really cool because this actually illuminated in the dark so much. It really illuminated me completely. So that was very cool. So Dimanjo, this is a whole construction here. <laughs> this is a whole construction and I'm actually very proud of this one because um, it's the mask in the whole um, halo is basically uh, designed on 3D. I had my uh, head scanned and then a graphic designer um, drew out everything that I had um, um, designed and we printed it in 3D and they printed it in California mm -hmm. and uh, I always wanted a mask where I could you could see my face without having to take the mask off so I had these uh, oh, wow. window <laughs> open so you could just I could just open and I could eat easy I people could see my face if I uh -huh, wanted uh -huh. and as you see here it's it's the whole mask everything is all plastic mm -hmm. and like I had mentioned before, uh, I never really finish a mask how I want it with all the crystals. So this one, with a little more time, uh, as you can see, there's layers and layers of crystals. There's not one edge that you can see that it's plastic. And uh, the cool part of this one is there goes a, a GoPro goes here. Mm -hmm. And these are five iPods and they're connected because the iPods show what the GoPro is transmitting simultaneously. So you stand in front here and you'll see yourself in the screen. Not only did 
uh, and this one, not only can I later see the expression of the people, but I wanted on this one the people to see themselves. Wow. <laughs> so this one was um, really, really, really cool. Mm -hmm.